Hey, Steve War with Outdoors First Media. Today we're going to set up the Ripple Lip University app on my Lund 1625. So what is the Ripple Lip University app? It's an app that you can purchase from the app stores, either Google or Apple, that will catalog and list all of the settings that are necessary for your Humminbird or Lowrance units. And I mean everything. You can categorize lakes, you can take settings from particular lakes, enter them into the system, and it memorizes them for you so you don't have to try to remember what your settings might be for Pelican Lake versus Pine Lake or something like that. I have three units on the boat that I'm going to enter into the Ripple-Lip app. I have a Humminbird Helix 8 Mega Side Imaging. I have a Humminbird Helix 7 on the dash that is Generation 2. And I have a Humminbird E3 Helix 7 um, side imaging on the bow. So we're going to enter those into the app. I've downloaded it and I've got the free app on my phone. That's what we're going to talk about today is the free app and show you how to use it. So the Ripple Lip app is right here. I'm going to open it. There it is. We'll go to My Rig. Edit My Rig. You can add a photo of the boat, which I'm not going to do right now. Close that. Now I'm going to add gear. I have Humminbird for sonars. They're Helix. I have a G3. And it happens to be an 8 Mega. And it then has the quick start guide, the advanced reference guide, installation and networking, resources, facts, videos, default settings, and add to my rig. I'm going to add it to my rig. Quick start guide basically tells you exactly what to do to start your unit. User mode, readouts, etc. Humminbird chart tells you exactly what you need to do there. Advanced reference guide. You need the uh, pro level subscription, which we're going to do. We'll do that in the next video. And installation and networking, etc. So we'll run through all of that once we get to um, the advanced app. Resources gives you Humminbird's addresses, telephone numbers, everything you need to get a hold of help from Humminbird themselves. And frequently asked questions. That requires the, the advanced app videos, etc. My default settings, also the advanced app, so we'll go to that, add to my rig. So that should add it, add it to the rig. Now let's add Humminbird Helix G3 and you saw it just flashed on the 8 there so it shows that it's in there. I've got a, sub, a 7 mega chirp, etc. So we'll add that. And that. Once again you have the quick start guide. Um, installation and network etc uh, FAQs and other things that you need so now we're gonna go add another Humminbird Helix G2 and that's a 7 chirp DI that's it right there So this has been added and Let's go to my rig. So that's been added. It once again takes you to the screen for quick start and the basic settings that you'll need running the free app. Now we'll get out of the sunshine so you can see the, the screen a little bit better and go talk about how all this works. So once again, you select the gear from hitting the, the uh, gear search icon right here. Okay, You select the gear that's on your boat. You go to the sonar unit that is on your boat you hit the plus sign and then this screen comes up success a new device has been added to your rig then all you got to do is close that now if I go to my rig I should have three units in there I should have a helix 8 generation 3 a helix 7 generation 3 and a helix 7 uh, ice generation 2 so let's see what we got here and that is indeed what I have So, if I want to find out about that unit, 
I hit that button, and there's my quick start guide that is specific to that unit, user modes, uh, readouts, hummingbird chart, all of the different things you need to know for uh, example, scroll down, let's see here. HB chart, scroll down to depth highlight, use right and left arrow cursor to pick a depth and you, you would like to highlight, etc. So that it goes through everything you need to know for the basic setup of your unit. All right, now we need to add the trolling motor. So we'll go to gear and we'll go back, back, and back, and then we'll go to Minn Kota. tap on the Minn Kota. mine is an Ultrex, and it is an 80, search this to make sure I got the right one, iPilot link, etc., and that's, that's the unit I have right there, so hit the plus, and that's been added to my rig. So now I have that on my rig, close that, um, we'll search, we'll go to the uh, unit that I have on my boat, quick start guide, shows you everything you need to know about that trolling motor, um, basically goes through connecting the Minn Kota with the built-in transducer, tells you how to do that, uh, everything you need to know to get your unit set up. So that's the basic app for Ripple Lip University. It stores everything you need to know for your settings, so if you lose a setting or can't figure out how to set up your unit or something like that, like the other day I had a particular setting in there, I lost it, I had no idea how, what I had in there. I went and looked at uh, the Ripple Lip University app, figured out where I was, and reset my unit in just seconds. So you don't have to memorize that anymore. The next video we'll shoot will be the Ripple Lip University Advanced app. That can be purchased on the app stores from either Google or Apple.